All right. Just arrived at Bonampak. Family Humanidad, Family Humanity, La Famille de l'Humanité. Laissez-moi vous présenter. Please let me present you Bonampak. Vamonos. Oh, the Purell, the gel is coming. Okay, so we're about to enter the site. Here, there's a landing strip for a plane. So I guess you can visit Banampak if you have a little plane. Now we're going that way, and this is where the city of Bonampak is. Entering the jungle. Bonampak, known anciently as Ake, meaning Volter Hill, is an ancient Maya site in Mexico, Chiapas. The construction of the site structures dates to the late classic period from 580 to 800 AD. Bonampak has one of the best preserved murals of all the Maya kingdom. This mural helps us prove that the Maya were not a peaceful civilization like most archaeologists believe since we clearly see a war going on. So stick with me in this video and eventually you see the building at the far end, we will enter this place, it's like a gallery. There's a beautiful painting with lots of color in its uh, original form and you'll see how beautiful this is there's three different rooms and I was only able to visit one so now let's run up this up those stairs to see those upper temples and then we will get back down to visit the gallery
Bonampak was a subordinate of Yachiklan from around 580 until the end when they abandoned completely the city. If you haven't seen the video of Yachiklan, I recommend you watch it because this is another site that I visited the same day that I visited Bonampak. Around 600 AD, the king of Yachiklan installed a new king in Bonampak. His name was Yaja Chan Muwahan. Now, prepare yourself, sit comfortably because we are going in the gallery. This is a really special glyph that was under the earth that they uncovered. Now it seems quite small but it's gigantic. I don't know exactly what it is but here's the building, here's the gallery. So there's three rooms as you can see and only two are open, the first one the second one is closed, I don't know why, and the third one. I had to wear my face diaper to get in. Sorry family, you won't be able to see my beautiful smile. So from my research, there's three rooms. This room that we are in right now is the painting of the preparation for the war. So everything you see now, you see the higher priests, the higher people in the civilization talking, planning, and then the lower class prepping all the instruments, all the tools, all the weapons because they are prepping for a war. Then, the second chamber that we can't go inside is actually the war going on. So as you can see here, everyone is prepping, they are dressing well because something big is going to happen. And like I said, the second room is the war and the third one that we are going to see after this one is the victory, is after the war, the celebration. So now we are entering the third room. This is after the war. It's really incredible to see all oh, those original colors. As soon as I entered those rooms, I felt a really, really strong energy. 
and as you can see many of the faces has been destroyed and this was probably probably I say because I don't know exactly it was probably to hide who they were so we were not able to construct the full history because they didn't aim for the nose or anything and a lot of faces are not scratch at all and the bodies are not scratch at all so why would they remove the face of certain people hmm the question is open how do they make all those beautiful different colors this is another beautiful question those rooms are wow, wonderful I'm not sure if it's over here but there's a scene where you see yeah I think this is the one they are carrying a prisoner Bonampa collapsed with Yachiklan in the 9th century when most of the Maya city did the same also that's why they call it the Great Maya Collapse and then from 1993 to 1997 INA which is the institution here in Mexico uh, that take care of those archaeological sites excavated Bonampak and they found a total of 27 burials. So I know the mainstream say they are only tombs. It's true they were probably used as tombs but they have many 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 more purposes. Same for the pyramids of Egypt or the temples in India and all temples around the world you will find some burials under those pyramids and temples but that doesn't mean this is their only purpose those ancient civilization were really advanced really advanced really advanced Familia Humanidad, Family Humanity, this is what concludes the visit, the story and everything about Bonampak. Bonampak is a beautiful site, not many sections, it's like the central plaza, this gigantic stila, I have never seen a gigantic stila as big as this one. In all Guatemala, maybe because I wasn't able to go to Quirigua, because it says that Quirigua has tons of really tall stila but this is the biggest one I've saw and then you see behind me over there that was the most impressive the paintings wow still original depicting 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 uh, the preparation to the war the war and the victory so three room three different um, story 
So familiar humanidad, I hope you really love the boni, bo, <laughs> Bonina. <laughs> um, Bonampak, same as I did. And now going back to Palenque, sleeping there. And tomorrow going to Chipuhil, Pekang, and Calakmul, and many other sites until I reach Bacalar. So you stay awesome, you stay blessed, you stay pure, you spread love, you share love, you give love, you love yourself, you close the loop, and you seek knowledge. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta pronto. Now, I cannot say jump on my motorcycle and come with me because I'm with a colectivo. So, and there's no more space for you guys. So just wait for me in Palenque. I'm arriving in four hours, más o menos. Adios.